Hi, welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar Session 1, the Basics, Part 12, Components. Okay, this isn't following on from a previous video. I've just built myself a little cube with some windows and some doors in it. i also put a floor and a ceiling in for demonstration purposes. Okay, so components. Components can be thought of, I guess, as anything other than walls, doors, windows, columns, and these other items that are listed here. If we go to the components, the first one it gives us is a desk. And notice I can't place it anywhere outside of a floor. If I place it onto the floor, it lands constrained to level zero. If I was to place another one, I can spin the component using my space bar and position it I could also rotate after placement there. Okay, so components come from a library. We've got this one in as default. We've also got some trees in as default there, rainwater pipes, some metalwork. If we want something else, go to the load family and you're taken to the library of items. Now it's well worth spending a while in here looking what's available. There's an awful lot of stuff in here. Take note of some of the more useful ones. In Entourage for instance there's a car, some chairs, there's also some people which is quite nice. If I bring in this person here and this person here They don't look like much at the moment, but when you hit the render button, they come to fully rendered. In fact, if I go to realistic, take a second or two, you get an idea of what you're going to get rendered. At the moment, that lady sat down. I can change that to somebody else, and I get a different person. So they're quite realistic looking. Um, very good indeed. Okay, so the library, the components library is very big and there's an awful lot of stuff in there. Um, another thing in here, this is where you'd get your lighting from. I'm just going to put some lighting in to demonstrate. Lighting, ceiling linear, let's place that in. And that's why I put a ceiling into the design. Lighting, if it's a ceiling mounted one, needs to be on the ceiling. Now you see in 3D view this is actually quite difficult to get any kind of alignment. So I'm going to jump to my reflected ceiling view of level zero and I get a clearer look at where the light fixtures are. If I use my Align tool from Modify, or AL for shortcut, start tying some of these lights together, I'm going to lock them down. Okay, so that's locked together. I'm going to use an aligned dimension tool to quickly equalize. Okay, I'm not spending too much time explaining what I'm doing here. This is covered in a previous video. Okay, so we've got some lighting in there. Back to my 3D view. The next thing I want to show you is in component you get the option to place a component or model in place. Now modeling in place can be a quick way to insert a mass object into your model 
without having to go into the mass modeling environment and come out again sometimes you just need a quick indicative model so we're going to get into mass modeling here this is covered in other videos but the thing to understand is we need a work plane to draw on so if I go to a 2d view I'm allowed to create a reference plane I'm going to make a chimney that comes out of the building if I give the work plane a name that makes it a legitimate work plane now in my 3d view if I hit the set button chimney is now listed as a work plane I can work on I like to turn show on so I can see what I'm doing so now you can see I've got this light blue work plane okay so I've now got a work plane ready to create a component on I'm going to model in place when creating a component from scratch you want to put it into the correct family I would say duct fitting would be appropriate for a chimney and this takes me into the mass creation environment. There's quite a lot you can do in here and it is covered in other videos, extrusions, blends, sweeps. I'm going to use a sweep to create a chimney. First thing I'm going to do is sketch a path. Draw a line from there, there and upwards. Escape, happy with my path. I'm going to create a profile using edit profile and that gives me a point with a reference plane intersecting so I can put a circular profile happy with that happy with that hit a tick and I've got a chimney lastly with it selected notice in the properties there is a material section if I select where it says by category I can add a material to it I'm going to go for aluminium, it's right there, and finish model. Okay, you can see our chimney. If I need to edit it further, at the moment I've got this section box. If I needed this to be higher, for instance, select it, go to edit sweep, sketch path, which is what's determining its length. I can just throw that up a little bit higher. There's all sorts I could do with that. I could parameterize the object and start adding parameters using dimensions or parameterize the material for instance but you get the idea there. Finish model, happy with the change. Okay, while we're on the subject of components in the library the last thing I guess I can show you just going to give myself a bit more room on this building is when you first go to add a wall, a door, a window I'm going to go for doors for now to demonstrate you'll notice that there's very few options in here if you do want more options than that load family it takes you to the library you need to be in the right section for what you're trying to do so this is doors so I can go to external doors maybe bring in a different door type okay so I hope that's clear enough thanks very much